Yes, I will continue working and now I'm going to create a, the beans pod. So first I want to create the tentacles where those pods will hook up. So we'll go geometry, we have a segment and let's call this pod stem. So it's where they're connecting to. Okay, let's switch this to we start running out of color, so we'll just switch to something else. Okay, and we'll just again connecting to our stem main stem. Let's go inside and work on some um, additions to this to the stem. So we'll kind of create that way. Okay, um, the number. It is depend how heavy you want to do. So I'm going just to maybe set six and you know, maybe three. So it's somewhere from nine to three plus minus. It will be jumping up and down. Um, placement, I'm just to protect. So it's one be on a root right here. So I'm just moving maybe too high, but one. And uh, we'll go all the way to the top if needed. So we'll just leave it like this. Um, we'll leave it 30 degrees. That is about um, good. Again, you always can add just some small variations in case. And let's go to switch this maybe 125 with a 15 degrees randomness. Okay, sometimes I notice right here they don't look good. So let's go try 135. Spread them just a little bit more. Maybe 10. Yeah, so they're kind of spreading. You can play around to see how they spread. Okay. Okay, so next, um, we'll just leave it all this as default this point and we want to now add start working on the pads itself um, let's go to inside the stem itself okay the link I'm just saying five we'll see how long we want to do this will be a little bit twisty remember this is from the flowers so on our flowers it's kind of similar but little bit more overgrowing we'll leave it um, let me make about maybe 35 okay we just leave it step high the inherited um, same right here as usual you know we'll just take and shrink but notice I don't shrink all the way just shrink just a little bit give it this shape of the plants um, and trophism we probably will come back and work a little bit more on the those properties so we'll see when we start adding parts how they will look but we'll probably work adding some trophism and we will work some other ones um till we here let's go blend with the parent again and remember if you want it you can modify some shape how you hook up but and I'm just overall reducing just slightly so it's one big and big. Okay, that is a basic shape right now. The next I want to create the beans, so we'll go geometry, segment, and we'll call beans. Okay, let's go to Colors and we'll just connect it. The one thing when we connect, what we want to do, we don't want to have them all over. We want to go in our connection bin and right here says top of the segment. As well, remember we want to disable this and set to the zero angle. So they just say almost like extending, going straight out of that area. Okay, so this 
we'll just leave everything else as default and let's go now start working on our actually bin itself um, a link we can play around I'm just saying maybe five seven plus minus going around this one I want user define because my shape is what I'm going to do I will go to shape them in other ways by the way the same techniques you can apply to create maybe bananas or any other effects so you can do this same way create a very um, interesting custom shapes okay we'll go work on our sections and right here you notice we can place as many as we wanted so I'm going um, just place it think about this small one big this will be our bin inside I need to put some between another bin you know maybe one more bin between another bin down and one more so just kind of going up and down okay next um, we'll go to select one and we want shrink but actually you know what I did kind of start wrong so let me do again right here the one thing what I want to do it is take create this before and I want bring this a little bit down okay and we'll take this a little bit down so this will be our overall shape kind of like generic shape you can see right here and doing this it's help us afterwards to create digital so now we need to create those ins inside so with now we can have it this is first this one bin between them divider second third fourth and maybe fifth doesn't matter we can we can readjust to rearrange them after okay so we'll take um, this one and we can shrink we'll bring this down from actually both because this will be one of the end okay so we'll kind of like bring down right here okay in overall it's what we're going to do we're going to select one between and bring these things down okay we can select right this one and kind of you know create maybe all look like a bit smaller so again we'll select this bring it down select another one bring this down bring this one down too okay and of course select our last one and bring this down to all ends let's click OK and right here you have a very rough shape with the beans inside um, we can create another one add random node so we'll have it smaller different and we'll see we want to do this but right now I just want to create one okay okay so next I want just a little bit bend them and I will do with access so I'll go right here on the side middle We'll just add points and kind of it's all what we need to do so you notice we kind of stretch them almost this way okay now let's go work on a radius so we have it our radio set to one we can uh, let's just make a little bit smaller and right here oops, wrong way so we actually want to take and bring this radius down 
So this will be one end. Okay, and we'll do same thing on another end. Okay, so let's go ahead. Bring this one down. We can kind of move slightly out and let's use it also curve type. So it's just help us to have this um, kind of nicer, smoother effect. Also notice with our curve, how we did it's now look straight. So it look a little bit more natural. So even before how we bend it, now we kind of straight here because with our angle and create nice shape kind of beans this way okay let's go trapezium maybe add minus six so it's will just slightly bending them different way and let's put this maybe two and right here minus four just add different effect on them okay this again it just make them bend randomly some straight some maybe bit more just have a kind of effect and let's go to blend with parent and right here here is this a little bit tricky you notice how they expanded when we blend with parent so we want to actually shrink quite a bit down right here and we want to also set this maybe So we want shrink, but we don't want kind of big blending. So we want a little bit smoother. Okay. You know, just maybe even less. There you go. So it kind of look more natural way. Okay, so this is one way, but they're kind of straight looking. I want to add them a little bit more natural maybe effect. And uh, I'm looking, I maybe need it the too thick, so I will relook on this one. But I want to go inside the influence, and right here we'll go to add some curl to them. So let's go right here, select curl. Okay, we'll just add 0 0.2, we don't need big influence, and 0 0.1 effect. Okay, and maybe just set one and one you just add slightly curl to them you can see right here on the side so just create a little bit more natural kind of look for that okay so next let's go to the transform and inside transform actually i want a little bit effect on the size and i want to use it by global scale so i'm going right here so it's 0 0.8 and we're going to set this maybe to um, 0.3 randomness. And also with the parent filter, so we'll just say on top, let's make them a little bit smaller. Not too much, but just a little bit. Okay, maybe around here. Okay, so it's kind of effect, a little bit smaller so that's look good um, right here in the sections you know this one is maybe um, too thick so we can bring this a little bit out it just look too rough to me so and you can play a little bit more around see which one what size you like it and how like I said before we could add different amount randomly you know make them longer okay so right here that yeah that look a little bit better okay now let's go work on our connection to them okay and uh, we'll go in a segment so right here right set properly 
properties and it's what I want to work. So I'm going to add maybe three and you know what, let's set one to the randomness. And as well, I kind of maybe want to um, effect on top a little bit. So this segment will be straight. Okay, and let's go now to the influence as well. And in influence, we'll go to add a curl now to this. So we'll go select curl. Okay, we'll go select three. You can see kind of they already start affecting nicely. So we'll do one. Okay, we'll also enable local coordinates for this. And let's set this to um, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 something similar to what we had before okay and you remember saying before we want to work a little bit on a filter so we want curl a little bit closer to um, and so we'll actually pass the zero even spread right here let's go all the way to one the opposite almost curl the opposite way okay. let's go bring right here see if we spread them a little bit more okay so it's look kind of interesting there you go so we have kind of random almost spreading there you go yeah like this way better of course we have some collisions happen right here we need to work look how we can extend them a little bit more from the angles and we can do this by bringing right here straight up effect okay let's click OK and as well on the parent so overall just to show you we can affect a little bit more right on the end bottom one so they expand it longer and when lighter they're going a little bit um, closer so we'll do this way we'll bring down below little bit twirl and right this area there you go just a little bit relaxed so they don't collide that much okay click OK and right here we kind of created our bean pot okay trying with uh, random curling so they some randomize it um, how I said before we can create random selection, add random node, and created beans. But um, I won't do it for this tutorial. So we'll already actually have quite a bit heavy model. And let's go ahead save it at this point. And we can go now um, enable and see what we have it so far all our plant before we kind of start working on the texturing. So, okay, here's our growth. But people will grab the leaves, enable. And we'll also enable tentacle. Okay, and right here you can see we have our plant. Kind of look messy, but it's look natural again. And this is our in stock that we created of course we need now going inside and start work on the texturing and some displacements and other things we're going to do with this so okay we'll go continue this in the next session of tutorial